Hello, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about Anne of Green Gables by L.A. Montgomery. I realise I'm a little late to the party here considering it was first published in 1908 according to the verso. But I am a fair believer that it doesn't matter how long it takes you to come to a book as long as you enjoy it all the same. I'm going to tell you a little story about how I first came to be wanting to read Anne of Green Gables. A few years ago, one of my managers said I reminded him of Anne of Green Gables. Now that I'm reading it, I'm starting to understand why. Anne Shirley talks a lot. And anyone who knows me know that I also talk quite a bit, but I don't talk half as much as Anne does. And she has such a big imagination, of which I also do have. And she has this sunny optimism for life, which I try to embody myself. But she is just such a great character, and I loved reading about her. And has come from many hardships. She was adopted and she lived in two different homes. She wasn't treated as well as she should have been. And when she comes to Green Gables, she finds out that she wasn't the girl that they sent for. They actually asked for a little boy. And Anne being Anne, she bawled herself to sleep and was devastated because this was her first real chance at getting a proper home and it seemed to be t slipping away from her. But then she went to sleep, and the next day she woke up, and it was sunny outside, and Anne refused to be upset, even though she was in very bad circumstances, having to be sent back to the asylum. She looked outside, it was sunny, and she vowed to have a good day, no matter what was else was going on. And that's where I think we can all learn something from Anne Shirley. Her optimism and her ability to imagine better, no matter what her circumstances, is a quality I really admire in her. And I think it's something we could stand to try and have in ourselves, the ability to imagine better, no matter what our circumstances. Because I feel like a lot of us, no matter how big or small the thing that's going on in our lives, we tend to just flop on the bed and be really, really negative about it. There's a whole world out there. We are lucky to be here. And instead of making the worst of a bad situation, you should be making the best of it. I'm not no preacher because I can sometimes be like that, but I, th I like to think that I'm also like Anne and that I'll wake up the next day and look outside and think, hey, today is actually going to be a good day. That's what I took from this book that we could all stand to be like Anne sometimes. Dear old world, you are very lovely and I'm glad to be alive in you.